Hi, I'm Nick Curtis with SpankyStokes.com, and you are watching Toy Geeks Behind the Counter. One time I forgot to turn the recording on. Lloyd Kaufman. <laughs> this is all you. What am I gonna what am I gonna say? You're gonna say whatever you want. You say toy tubers. No, come on, don't this is, you've had all week to come up with an intro. You can't come up with it now. Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Toy Geeks Behind the Counter. Ta -ta. I am Ben. I'm George. And I'm Jack. And this is the Road to Comic Con episode. Look, like, he's walking down the road. Like that's the that's how you road. walk, too. <clears throat> All right, let's get to it. Let's get to it. We, we got a lot to cover. Road. Artist of the Month. Artist that's of the Month is Tanya Marriott Design. Da, 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 da. Everyone go check her out. It's awesome stuff. The link right there and in the you show notes. Do that. That's Jack's job. Oh, sorry. You go ahead and... You see how nothing showed up? <laughs> oh. Nothing. Watch this. Jeez. Magic. Link. All right. Comic-Con. Yeah, oh, we've got a lot to talk about. What do you got, George? So, Ben, you have these two things. That's right. Yeah, let's get it. So, right George and I are sharing a booth. Aww. That's right. We're going to be in the Double G Toys and the 3D Retro booth. 5250. 5250. And I have, well, actually, this is, this is produced by 3D Retro, but this is going to be in the Nino Bunny booth, 5139. That is the Juan Muniz Glow in the Dark Smile figure. And uh, you can pick that up at Juan's booth where he will sign it for you if you get it. That's 5139. And then New York artist Jim McKenzie is going to be at our booth. 5250. Thank you. And uh, he will be there signing Friday between 1 and 3 p.m. And that's the King Gordo figure in the grayscale edition. So it's a new color, 5250. And I've gone pin crazy this year. Pin crazy! Um, I have a few of the pins that I'll have there with me, and then some of them I don't have yet, but they'll be there. Um, so first up is the uh, Plumber's Pride oh. <laughs> set of pins. And you can get these two at 5250, or you can go over to DeCorner at 5249. He has a few other pins, but you can also pick up his exclusive Plumber's Pride oh, pin. Oh, it's like Wario. What? So this is Who? the exclusive? I don't know what you're talking about. No, oh, that's oh, Lakers colors. Gotta mess it oh, up. Lakers colors. <laughs> Lakers always colors. gotta mess it up. <laughs> what do you mean mess it up? <laughs> um, I'll also have my, um, I worked with two companies for this one. Hello Dolly Pie Toys last year did Bulba Fett that's right. figure. So I contacted them and did the pin version of their Bulba Fett <laughs> with uh, Good For You Toys did a lot of the line art for me. And oh, there's wow. gonna be two versions. There's the carded version for the Star Wars fan, wow. or the trading carded version for the Pokemon fan. That's brilliant. So you have to decide which version you want to buy, or buy both. Well, this one. How much are they? Um, I think 10 bucks. All right. You take that one? And then you can one. also come by and pick up my very new hey, oh, hey, WG Toys hey. logo. Hello. Da, 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 da. Probably five bucks. Wow, even fancy die. backing and everything. Well, that's Dude. just for my version. I like uh. that the logo continues on the card and on the pin. Yeah. That's that's genius. Until so you take that. it off. It's yeah, and then it's ruined <laughs> and it's all trash. Uh, but I will also, there's an, another five or six pins I'll have there as well, but they're just not here yet. Five or six. That is, yeah. that is pin crazy. So, yeah, there's and a bunch of And what booth is this? 5250. Beautiful. And now, uh, and let's get it. to the meat of this. That's all, all right. of the Comic-Con. That's it. That's everything that's happening at Comic-Con. See you later, guys. No, the no. heat of the Next meat. Step, what? The heat of the what? <laughs> the heat of the meat. The, the heat meat of the meat. potatoes. The meat and potatoes of Comic-Con is our guest. That's right. Which is... Sarah Jones! Yay! You just did. Look. 
Now See? you you're we gotta get this stuff out of welcome, here. Welcome, welcome. We need to make some room right now. All right, let's, we have a lot let's of talk stuff. about what's going on. You do on. have a lot of stuff. This is my So stuff. first of all, you gotta tell the people who you are, what you do, what you do. What are you doing here? Yeah. Hey. hey, I'm Sarah Jo Marks. I am half of DKE Toys. I am the woman behind the man. Oh. I am the toy whisperer. Ooh. Wow. Some might say the woman in front of the man. Whatever, we're together. <laughs> <laughs> like that. That's nice. That's but good. you are you're uh, you're a Comic Con pro, and you you guys are bringing you, you look you make our stuff look like nothing compared to the stuff that you guys are going to be bringing. For the past few years, we've been doing it a little bit different. Okay, you know, we've been working with artists to help them um, create figures, getting stuff sculpted, um, getting cards made, getting making sure everyone has their bubbles, so that we can basically <laughs> have a an action figure museum yeah. going on at our booth. Now when you say we, you mean? Dove and I at DKE, DKE Toys. Toys. Which and is your booth number is? 5045. 5045. 5045. We're all around the same area. Yeah. We're all in the 5,000. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so we'll have all the stuff that we're um, announcing today. And okay. then in addition, we'll have stuff that we've had at past conventions. So oh. if you look at uh, my Instagram or our Facebook page or anywhere and you <laughs> and you see um, what our display looks like, it looks, uh, the flicker, <laughs> obviously <laughs> the flicker, which I hear is not cool, but does have no, a no, lot no, of no, information. Good, good, Here's good. how the flicker shows up. So you brought us some stuff? I did. Is it this stuff right here? It's all that stuff. Which is freaking me out because uh, you guys normally know know that the toys come from that end. I don't know from some magical little door. <laughs> and now I have like access to this and I'm like, uh, what it's do gonna I do? It's going to be so easy. We're just going to start. One. We're just going to start. Pull let's, the first let, one. Let's start with the first one. It's Y Clops by Little Lazies. Okay. This is a really special figure. She hand sculpted this and each and every one was hand sculpted by her. What? These aren't cast pieces. These are what? handmade, each one. Every single one. Yeah. Every single one. So it's really one of the most special that. DKE exclusives. Yeah. Each I've, piece I've hand sculpted by amazing. Leah Lester Leah Lester of Little Lazies. No two are exactly the same. With a um, real stick. But they're really close to one another. It's kind of hard to imagine that they aren't cast. Little and lazies. that she made 50 of them. Um, and how much does this one go for? They're signed and numbered. Okay. And it's in this carded package. And it's fifty-five dollars. Nice. All right. Uh, I, I love the attention to detail and the yeah, fact that these are you, amazing. Yeah, actually, they like, took the time and did it right. That's beautiful. Is it supposed to be Yoda? It's See, Yo Clops. Why do you do Yo Clops? Why? Why? He's giving it away. He's you don't mess things up. No cease and desist around this place. Yeah. You don't say all that. right. All right. What's next? <laughs> What's all next? right, Mickey. Like, don't do it. <laughs> now, it's not that we don't want to review all these. It's just that we have a half-hour show and we have a lot of figures to get yeah, through. So we're going to just go through it. Yeah. We're just okay. Gonna show so you all this of them. is I Am a Man by Rika. Okay. Rika is an artist based in the UK. Here, Ben. Uh, we actually have three figures from him at the show. Um, this figure really blew us away. Um, it's one of the most powerful pieces we've ever had. It's hand cast, painted, three and three quarter figure, carded, signed and numbered out of 30, $55. A lot of the figures are really like fun themed. This one's very like serious. I know, but not everything has to be fun. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes you gotta bring it down a notch. Art sometimes just needs to make a statement, Ben. Okay. Here and, we go. And also, uh, <coughs> all our tax is always included in our prices. Oh, cool. Oh, what? So you don't have to math nice. The price is the price. You the guys price, is the max. The price is the price. This is also from Rika. This is the third in the series. Yes. This is the Keith Haring Art Trooper. Uh, um, the first two. I have the other two. You have the other two. The Warhol and uh, the Basquiat. This is so good. Okay, so you know what? So it's $55. It's a signed and numbered gonna, edition of 65 I was going to say that's cool, but I'm done with that one, actually, because I see the next one here. No, this is so even, good. I don't even know what that is. $55? Super uh, affordable, right? Oh, no, so good. I, I don't even, Especially I don't if you have the other two, it's like, no. oh, I can't wait for the next no, one. You don't understand. You what? don't understand. What is that? That's what I'm saying, yeah. This is what Juan Poppy. You will not believe how heavy this is. This is so heavy, you guys. I'm, I cannot I'm actually believe touching how heavy some of these things is. for the first time yeah. today. I really can. We should have a scale here so we can <laughs> weigh, weigh the toys. So that's our third and final entry from Rika. This is Rika's blinged out take on the six inch vintage Kenner toy. It's a whole lot of resin for $80, three and three quarter scale, 
signed a numbered edition of 25, hand cast, hand painted, silk screen, <laughs> die cut, he die cuts his own card backs, he makes his own blisters. Um, it even has that vacuum form feel to it. It's kind mm -hmm. of bumpy and when I emailed Rika to get this approved he wanted to make sure that we also know that it has a real 23 and a half karat gold leaf and a Swarovski no Told okay, you how much awesome. is this, oh, how much does this thing cost <laughs> 80 80 bucks 80 bucks Wow yeah that's 80 and that's 55 that's the, come on. Well, <laughs> okay. No. Can I go to the next one? Can next one. Real yeah. American Value Meal by that is, this is like This is like a great box. This, this is Comic-Con box right you know there. What? I'm taking all the toys out from now on. From now on, I'm pulling the toys out. <laughs> you, know, you know what you're going to get? You're going to get the trash. You get the... No, this is, this is fun Let's stuff. Let's keep going, Jack. <laughs> look at him. Look at him. This is from a new company on the scene, CNE, or Chicken Nugget Enterprises. Wait this is minute. their take on the cybernetic let me, chicken. Let me see this. And what it would look like as a G.I. Joe style figure, and George sculpted it. This is this Good is old robot chicken. Double Who? G, double this G, is, G, George. This is a robot chicken. Are you sure? I don't know. Um, the it card says artwork. Robot <laughs> chicken. <laughs> Finally, right there. Ben gets it. <laughs> it says it. I there's, don't know. There's the other characters on the back, the humping robot and the And we're going to need to have a conversation after That's the show about That's interesting, isn't it, Ben? Yes. It's pretty interesting. I love the price tag. But it's, it's on clearance thing. for only $59.99. <laughs> well, the card artwork was an existing painting by Jed Edmondson, and they got permission to use the card back as designed by Carlos Espinoza of Mock Toys. Wow. Really? Each piece is hand cast and painted, three and three quarter figure edition of 100 is it time for the next one? Yeah, bring it. This is fun. <laughs> <laughs> we have to come back more often. I would love to. This is Job Wars. That's mine. That's an action figure of me. It's an action figure <laughs> a, of how, him. How's that you? It's Jack? Jack Your Wars? Clone Wars. Trooper. No, it's Job Wars by Jason <laughs> Adams. This is the first time. You want to see it? George wants to see it. Uh, this is the first time we work with Jason Adams. Uh, he just started making figures not too long ago, but he's a well-known illustrator and has done lots of work for Tops and other companies over the years. Wow. Um, but here is the poor unemployed clone trooper, <laughs> hand cast, painted, three and three quarter figure, edition of twenty fifty five dollars. He looks so sad with he, his resume. He has his resume. You gotta love that. It is sad, and, and the resume just that. says resume. It just says resume and just squiggles. Aww. <laughs> squiggles. Poor so guy. Bad. Oh. I'm just a clone. I don't know how to run. I like the jacket's gets excited before Can I do he the voice? It out. Can I do the voice? Yes, please. Uh, you like me now? Watch me as a toy. <laughs> oh. And you and you complain to me about copyright stuff? What are you talking about? <laughs> Can't win. It's just a voice. Can't win. <laughs> it's just a random voice he did. Yeah. It's Junkie. Junkie the Krusty Clown by Dollar Slice Bootlegs, our buddy. Um, wow, well, that happened anyway. Dollar Slice is at it again. And this time, in this not so polit Turn it around, Ben. Turn it around, Ben. Oh <laughs> not so politically correct <laughs> version of this cartoonish clown. I guess Junkie got into trouble, and now you can own it. Junkie Lucky got you. Into trouble. Check out the back, boys and girls, or don't. Um, hand cast and painted, three and three quarter card figure. <laughs> Signed and numbered edition of 30 for $55. And what I didn't uh, mention before is a lot of people often ask us at DKE how we can, how their figures can be in our booth at a show. And we do have some criteria, do you? Uh, but Dove is always happy to discuss it with you. And you can just go to dkeetoys.com. And all our contact info is there. I can't read. What does that say? So, you Let's know what? The I don't know. Person just, at Comic -Con. We're just going to deal with that. Let's move something. on to I'd probably something. not show the back to the camera. Just keep turning that around. <laughs> and let's move on. We have a couple of examples. This one is one of my personal faves. If I'm allowed to have favorites, I don't know. But I do. Anyways, are. Um, these are so awesome. This is Santo Vader from Carlos Ramirez. Is that like on wood? It's yeah, on it wood. wood. It's I on wood. I just like it. I like the wood. Wow. Jack. Uh, Carlos Ramirez is formerly a member of the Date Farmers where he painted in a duo. And Dove and I have a few of their paintings. We love them. So um, uh. we reached out to them and Carlos was into it. He wanted to make some figures for San Diego Comic Con. He hand made a wooden figure. Then he cast that figure in resin. He hand painted and decorated each one individually. They're all different. Um, he carded them on a hand painted card back, which is cut from plywood, and each one is totally unique. 
signed and numbered out of 30 on the back. Each is about four inches tall. And at $100, this is seriously one of the best deals at the show. Their paintings sell for five to $25,000. What? So for a hundred bucks, you get a- A mini a, version. A, a mini I, version. I, I love the wood, but I also like the fact that the back is messy and you see some splotches of paint and you see like the behind the scenes of like what happened in the studio while they were making it. I love seeing that because you're like, like you, you art have, was made here. You have an artist, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, like their pieces not, sell for twenty to twenty, like twenty five to twenty five. Five to twenty five thousand, and then you can buy a little piece of artwork for a hundred bucks. bucks. Oh, next is the pin, Jack. Uh, 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 this is ridiculous. Uh, How was it? Damn it! Well, let's not break it. <laughs> oh, fail. Break it if you want. We have more. No, I'm just kidding. Um, this is a pin because this. pins are the thing, yeah, as George, we know. Pins, my thing. Yeah, um, George likes that's pins. boss. Vaderus Maximus <laughs> by Drill One, our buddy Drill. Um, he made a Vader helmet a few years ago, and it uh, a customized mm -hmm. Darth Vader helmet was in our booth, I believe, at Designer Con. It was a Mad Max mashup, and he turned that image into a pin. And this here is the Soviet era colorway with a red star on the forehead. One hundred pieces, ten dollars. Very good. Just pass that bag and right down here. Right over here. Up. Just pass that bag right thing. down here. No, uh, no, no, no. Everybody no. gets one. Everybody gets one. Everybody gets one. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? What is you it? You get a figure. You oh, get a oh. figure. I want this one, and I want this one, and I want this one. Wait a minute. Are these all these different card bags? This is the Bounty Hunter by Manly Art. So Dove was yeah. talking to Jason Shocker from Manly Art. And Jason wasn't able to cast any figures because normally he does something from his Pimp 2D2 line, um, but he was moving and he couldn't do that. So um, they came up, we, he's an amazing artist and painter, and they came up with the idea of doing two dozen original paintings of Boba Fett. So this is really about the card because the card is an original painting and all of the images, all 24, are totally different paintings. They're $150, and it comes with the sparkly blue Boba Fett resin figure to round the piece out. These are so cool. Amazing. Like, the original art is awesome. And so the classic Boba Fett figure, it, that's so cool. He's basically in Jedi spirit form, so. <laughs> sure. It's canon to but me. the original art. The original art. That's they're, amazing. They're great. They're signed and numbered. Let's open them. How is it? Wah, now, wah. let me ask you. Somebody comes up to your booth and goes, oh my God, I can't decide. I got to have all 24 of them. Do you Sold. let them do that? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes. do you want to be sold out? Yes. Yeah, but. Sold. I you buying them all, Ben? You, Go for it. <laughs> no, I, I want I, one. I, I tell you, it would look amazing. If you yeah. had all 24, yeah. and this all 24 incredible. will be featured so on our Flickr. Show them what it looks like instead of just white. This yeah, because yeah, no, I'm, this is amazing. Like you just put four of them together, and you're like, that's it. I want them all. So yeah. bring a thousand dollars and buy ten of them. Um, How much are they? They're 120. All right, so 120. bring more than a thousand dollars. That's a really good. No, 150. I hear they're the one, one per person Wednesday night, and if there's any left, then maybe you can get more. Uh, so voices, voices. I hear voices. Uh, next one. Next one. This is Star Wars Darth Vader by Mark Todd. Mm -hmm. And last year, we got huge attention from his Chewback figure. Um, this is his follow-up mm -hmm. to the Chewback figure. He sculpted the piece, and then he cast it in resin, and he hand-painted each one, and he crafted a cape and saber. I think the saber is a red paperclip. The card back is signed <laughs> and numbered, and it's printed on Risograph, which is the same type of machine he, that his zines are printed on. <laughs> it's assigned a numbered edition just, out of 30. Just read the story in the back. Okay, it's the best bad guy ever. Scary, tough, mean, and cool. He has a cape, like Dracula, but no, but no red inside. Button chest plate that lights up and keeps him alive. Has the best design mask slash helmet with a triangle mouth thing. Rare, but sometimes you can see his eyes. Thin lightsabers enjoy. M. Todd, 2017. The best line is thin lightsaber. That's the <laughs> and it's all like and sometimes, and sometimes you can see his eyes. Right. You do. Empire Strikes Back. He's got red lenses. You can, Come I don't on, know what everybody about. loves. Can we do the Darth next? Vader? Next. Is it time? Next. The next one is R two D two. The best. Oh, I need eight of these because we can't have enough outhouse toys, right, yes. George? In our collection, I think we have just about every R two D two with legs on it, different bodies, and if we don't. I don't know what this it's is. An anyway, well, <laughs> Random Skull has managed to do something we have never seen before. Yes, an outhouse, R2D Poo. 
take it away. Hand cast oh. and painted three and three quarter carded figure, sign in numbered edition out of 40. No price. They're free. They're free. They're not free. Okay. They're not free. Nothing's They're not free in Waterworld. Water World. You can look up the price to yourself when you get to Comic Con. Next. Yeah, you Check get my there. Instagram. There you go. It'll Please. be listed there for sure. All right. Next is Muckus by Credenda Studios. Oh, I haven't seen a picture of this oh. one yet. Um, Muckus. Bo Greener of Credenda Studios has a follow up to his Bounty Hunter horror film mashup line. The previously sold out Freddy Fett, Boss Lives, and Galactic Chainsaw Massacre is followed by Muckus, Genius. which matches up Zuckus with Michael Myers. Hand painted, hand cast, three and three quarter Carter figure, signed a numbered edition of 30. Sixty-five dollars with blood splatter on the barcode. That's the that's what makes it. That's what makes it. Right. To me. Right. Moving on. That's it. You guys Space don't look. Space Wars Coffee by Killer Bootlegs. Right. So Peter Goral of Killer Bootlegs. I need this. <laughs> this is actually quite a funny one. Oh, that is awesome. Oh. Look, even the logo. Dude. Look at the logo. Wah, 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 I kind of need that too. Come on, I need that for my coffee bar. Wait, so how much is it? He's first of had all? a whole string of sellouts over the years, and this is. An excellent candidate for that. It's called Space Wars Space Coffee. Wars Coffee. Hand cast and painted three and three quarter scale carded figure, signed and numbered, edition of fifty, fifty five dollars. Yeah, not Italian. bad. Some of, some of the stuff written on the back is the best part about these things. Killer bootlegs. Killer bootlegs. Killer bootlegs. All right, that is beautiful. Uh, hey, hey, I'm more. really excited about the next one. Um, and so is my son, who's almost four. He's like, there's a Slimer? Oh, there's a Slimer? Dad, look at how God. beautiful that is. It's so oh, good. It's so good. It's, it's so cute. That's it. Oh. Great Showdowns by Scott C. What this is... doing? Well, you know who this is. Yeah. Yeah. Look who that is. It's, I don't know who that well, is. Are anyway, we allowed to say, am I going to be yelled at again? No, I don't know. Just it's don't the know. Ghostbusters. <laughs> it's the real it's Ghostbusters. Bankman <laughs> and Slimer. Anyway, we, we love Scott C. at our house, and the Great Showdowns are a series of paintings, art shows, and books depicting classic pop culture good guys and bad guys. And this figure was sculpted by boop -a -doo, George Gaspar I don't like it anymore. of Double G Toys <laughs> <Forget> to <laughs> help bring Put Scott away. C.'s characters to life. You get two hand-cast, hand-painted resin figures on each card featuring Scott C.'s signature. He also numbered them out of 50. And it says that what's interesting about this, and George, if you want to say anything, mm -hmm. um, mm. George usually is asked to interpret a character into an action figure, giving them toy qualities and characteristics. Is that interesting? Is that? It says that that's what's <laughs> it interesting. It actually looks like the drawing, which is what we always fuss about. That's That this great, looks like George. the art. He really, well, that's what it says in my notes. Yeah. It and says Slimer that he maintains. Right? It's one of the things that just like, oh, you see this art. Like we, we open up that? a box and we see the art on the box and we're like, so, oh, amazing. We open it up and it's like, wah, wah. Please and tell me, because he has a whole line of, sh of showdowns. Arno. Please tell me like there's going to be more. Well, that would be great. Let's it? hope it sells I, out. Slimer goes in the dark. Slimer goes in the dark. Yay! Slimer goes in the dark, everybody. $100. Shelf what am I worthy. touching this for? Shelf for all of them are shelf for You're not taking it home. <laughs> all right, next one. All uh -oh. right, two more things, guys. Darth what is Trump. This? What is this? We have a, this is a, another Darth Trump figure. <laughs> it's fantastic. Special Ed Toys is the back. the best toy. It's a disaster toy. It's a great toy. Disaster right. toy. You're going to love it. I'll let this it's go. It's ridiculous. Are you done? It's got tiny hand <laughs> toys. <laughs> okay, there Go ahead. <laughs> They're done. Wrong. Uh, we generally don't <laughs> offer n new colorways of things. We like to premiere things in our booth, but since we sold out the other two, we Fake figured toy. why not? Fake. Um, we. <laughs> uh huh. And you, they can, sell you can say that you're the ending the line because isn't that the last one of that one? So. Uh, Quiet, use. I feel like I'm having a conversation with my son. You I are. don't get to finish yeah. any sentences. You are. Yeah. Can I have a cookie now? <laughs> but I'm, I'm telling leave. you. The original editions sell anywhere between three and five hundred dollars on eBay. It won a designer toy award in 2016, so we figured why not go ahead and put out the Spirit Edition. It is hand cast, hand painted, three and three quarter figure, limited to 50 pieces, signed and numbered on the back, one hundred and ten dollars, and for some reason Ben really wants to hold it. <laughs> because he wants to say a line. <laughs> Look, this is another <laughs> terrible pun to overreact to. <laughs> and then he's got a, he's putting his helmet hair on, and he's got a coupon. <laughs> Look at me, I'm dead. See, I told you. <laughs> I'm a spirit, the best spirit, probably better, better than Obi Wan. I've known other spirits. 
Better than, as good as being better than Anakin, the young Anakin or the old Anakin. This Any is Anakin, what happens. Fake yeah. Anakin. This is the part they're going to cut out, right? Oh, no, so unfortunately good. not. No. The Jedi's, <laughs> Jedi's interfered with the Palpatine's election. Okay, well, there's one more thing, <laughs> and we don't even really have it, but we sort of have it. What? It is the Trump Wars arcade cabinet, Time Bandits, Special Ed Toys, and Carlos Flores. So, Special Ed and Time Bandits met this guy, Carlos Flores, yeah. who makes... I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it, this? I'll take it. Yes, this? yes, that's that. That's, but I thought... Come oh. on now. What is it? <laughs> arcade? Carlos cabinet? Flores makes the coolest vintage arcade cabinets. Okay. They're three and three quarter scale, so they decided to make one for Darth Trump to play. So there's going to be a Darth Trump video game no. cabinet for $45, oh. edition of 25. This happens to be the ET cabinet. I was going to yeah. say. Because Darth yeah, Trump was not available yet, but you can see. But this is so, and it's heavy, and it's sturdy. I really like the weight of it, And too. it's got the little felt here, so it's like, yeah, it's a beautiful... I really like that. And if we had a three and three quarter figure, we could show you that they're perfect size to play on We have like 600 it. in this box. Yeah, but they're all sealed and stuff. <laughs> they're I'm the gonna play my game. To stand next. I'm going to dig the ET up from the Nevada desert. Best desert. Hottest desert. We made it. <laughs> Area 51. <laughs> so um. all this stuff will be at our booth. DKE Toys booth 5045. That's in my mind somewhere. 5045. 5045. Uh, along with lots of other figures that we have. Wow. Um, and in addition to that, if you see something that you like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you cannot come to the convention, please ah. hit me up. Really? Either on Instagram or Facebook, send us a message like or that. email us wow. through our website. Um, because if we have them left over, we would be delighted to sell them to you. Okay, so no pre sales, but no if, pre -sales. if anything's left, you right. contact. You, it's like a wait list. Yes, in a, in that's, a way. That's yeah. awesome. It's very casual. Don't hit up the secondary market right away. Email them first. Yeah, there sometimes yeah. we have them left and then they're selling on eBay and we're like, hey, yeah. over here. Because we don't have an online store or anything. Well, we're just. Something you might want to work we're on. Just you different. don't have an online store? <laughs> we're just different. You don't need an online store. Just, they use Flickr. We're just different. <laughs> Look, we just do things our way. That's right. Okay. But it works. Yeah. All right. That's it. Did we do it? That's it. We That's did it. it. That's we it. did it. Wow. That's amazing. Well, thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for sharing. Sorry we interrupted so much, but that's just kind no, of No, but we're we just so no, excited. Just you brought some cool stuff. This is the coolest. There's really a lot of things. It's amazing that there's going to be like <laughs> that and more. It's like ridiculous. I cannot wait. It looks amazing. Like the booth, the way Dove sets it up, I'm always like, wow. Yeah. That's the best looking booth at Comic Con. The hardest part <laughs> is going to be deciding which of us gets which toy. So... Well, we're definitely going to go to the booth and film some stuff and, and visit you guys, too. Okay, so cool. Dove will love that, because I will be at home with the children. Oh. So Dove will need hugs, because oh, he'll be missing his Whatever. people. So, right. well, but Jack said he's going to be there. Yeah, I'll be there on Friday and with my special Jack box. Uh -huh. that's full it's of Jack in the goodies. box. It's a Jack in the box. And you want to know what's in here? Bunch of Toy Geek stickers and pins, and it's all that's left. And if you want to get a pin, you got to be subscribing to YouTube. If you want to get a sticker, you got to like us on Instagram and Facebook and come up to me. Really? Sorry, how about that? But it's an out of Toy Geeks experience. I don't know Moving right okay. along, so yeah. That's if it. You see us, you get that. Um, That's it. Wrap it up, it's done. Before we go, would you be so kind as to do a little doodle on our sketchbook sure. here? Sure. Would you be doing that? All right. Yeah. All right. Well, thank Follow, you so much subscribe, for coming. All that good stuff. And, and uh, uh, that's it. We'll have more Road to Comic Con. Next week. Yeah, next week. The Road to Comic Con Toy Geeks. Signing out. Yeah.